Thank you very much, Madam Chair. I'm an amendment at the desk. An what? amendment for Mr. Cole. I ask that the reading be dispensed with. Okay. The gentleman from Oklahoma is recognized. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, I offer an amendment to prohibit the Air Force from divesting uh, so-called E-3s, better known as AWACS, aircraft several years before its replacement program uh, can actually come online. Before I do that, I want to first express my appreciation to the chair and the ranking member for working with me on report language included in the manager's amendment, which highlights the committee's concern about further degrading an already insufficient command, control, and surveillance capability in the years between divestment and replacement. I intend to withdraw this amendment for now, uh, but I want to take a moment and I want to request the committee's continued involvement as we seek additional information and ultimately reserve the right to uh, return this amendment during the conference process. I'm uh, pleased that the department has now just recently committed to procure a procurement approach, the E-7 uh, Wedgetail, but it has not provided sufficient cost, schedule, or program uh, or operational risk information to satisfactorily demonstrate uh, that would be very much a numbers-driven decision and frankly underlines again uh, the, the need for additional investment uh, both this year and in years ahead. The existing EC fleet is already insufficient to meet uh, the combatant commander's needs uh, and the budget proposes frankly, uh, a divestiture that it will take at least five years to replace. It seems to me it would be much wiser to uh, divest as replacements were coming online so we didn't lose capability. Uh, frankly, uh, this uh, decision, in my view, by the Air Force poses an unacceptable risk because we will literally for years not have sufficient capability for um, uh, aerial command control and surveillance. Uh, again, I also want to emphasize when you lose the planes, you lose the crews and you lose the maintainers. They're not going to sit around for five years while we wait to bring new aircraft online. And if we find ourselves, as we may, in a conflict during that five-year period, we will be woefully short of aerial command and control capabilities. Uh, so divesting the AWACS platform, frankly, cripple, cripples a critical capability that's already in short supply. But again, um, I would uh, appreciate the chair's assurance she'll continue to work with us. If I have that assurance, I'd be more than happy to withdraw the amendment. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, to um, uh, a very active and engaged uh, subcommittee member, Mr. Cole, uh, also a member of the Rules Committee, where I know you'll be tracking to make sure that I live up to my agreement here. I appreciate uh, your willingness to work on this amendment. I agree with many of the concerns that you raised. Um, the bill does have uh, $207 million for the AWACS replacement, but I hear loud and clear what you're saying about a five-year gap. This has been an issue I've had with the Department of Defense in the way that they uh, don't smoothly do transitions, they don't do parallels. It's something I've been trying to work on since uh, being ranking member and as chair of this committee uh, currently. So uh, you know that we do have a report in here asking the Air Force uh, to report back on this matter, but it needs to do so in a timely manner so we can make adjustments. So I look forward to working with you, Mr. Cole, and um, I thank you for at this time withdrawing the, the willingness to withdraw the amendment. Madam Chair, I yield back. I want to thank uh, the chair and uh, look forward to working with her. and. Um, frankly, I think she's uh, uh, very wise in, in stressing the need to retire old platforms, but do it in a responsible way. Uh, and I, I think, that, frankly, the Air Force has come up short for a variety of reasons in recent years, and we run this risk. But uh, again, uh, I thank the chair very much and uh, look forward to working with her on this matter as we go forward. With that, Madam Chair, I withdraw the amendment.